I generated this 3D model with Viscom by using only this side view sketch. And let me show you how it's done. There are a couple of updates to Viscom and one of them is called Instant Render. In the studio you can find it here under the Modify Instant Render. And here we also have the results already that I generated. I'm gonna show you. But first thing is I uploaded my side view sketch. I increased the contrast, removed the background and now it looks like a scan sketch and you can just hit generate so it instantly renders it by default so you don't need to go through all the styles and so on if that's something you want to explore with and if you want a reference image here we have the optional reference image so what I did was adding here the reference image of my own sketch this one from 2018 all done in Photoshop and I wanted to get similar colors similar wipes to this sketch so I used it as a reference and I did multiple instant render some of them are totally changing my design like mixing also the designs as you can see here it turned into an SUV so my input sketch was not that useful in that case but then another batch was a bit more getting into this direction, more like a sketch with the color block. Some of them are again totally different. Or this one is kind of mixture, like off-road version of my side view sketch with some brown colored sketch style, but I was not happy with those. I couldn't get the result that I wanted. And I know that when you use the Viscom render feature, if you want specific results, you can help it by giving more clean sketch. There are multiple ways to do that. You don't need to do Photoshop, but in this specific example, I wanted to do some Photoshop myself. So here I can show you a quick time lapse of how I did the Photoshop. First, I blocked uh, the wheel area and then I'm just making very hard brush shading. And then with the soft brush, I erase the shadows to make it more smooth transitions in between. Then I put the graphics also for the front grille, for the rear area. And again, for this body side, I just put this big soft brush stroke over the sketch layers like not limiting myself and then I erased it softly. So even in today's world where you can do a lot of renders with AI, I still believe that Photoshop is a very useful tool to understand your own designs and also to control the results in a better way. So this is how it went. I wanted to use like a clean style here. So let's speed up a little bit. So here it already starts to be visible what type of surfaces I want on this car. And then I steal the rims from another Viscom generation that I did in the past. So I put the wheels also on the sketch. And this is the final Photoshop result that I did. It took around 15 minutes of Photoshopping. And if you are not confident with Photoshop, I can actually recommend you my Photoshop for Beginners course. I'm going to update the course next year. So you can learn from zero to this level and even more. I'm going to show you some different styles, but you can purchase it now because at the moment there's Black Friday discount until the end of November. So for a couple of days, it's on the discount and you can already start learning the current version of the course. But as I said, I'm going to update this course on next year and all the updates will be free and included. So after cleaning the sketch on the Photoshop, I imported it also on the same file because I'm experimenting with this new features of Viscom and I repeated the same process. I imported this sketch, I used this sketch as a reference again, and then I generated some results. And again, some of the results were more like the SUV, like the reference image, but also some of them started to be following my sketch pretty close to how it was by using the color and the style at certain level to render it. So this is one of the results. This is a bit more perspective version, actually interesting, like mixing the Peugeot from the original sketch and also following my sketch, like the reference and the sketch mixture. So you can get pretty interesting results as well. So I picked this one and you don't have to stop there. So I edit it by clicking this add button to my layers. Now this is the this is what is visible on the canvas and you can do before after. I really like it because it's quite accurate to my input sketch. And then I wanted to re-render it to see what would happen. So again, I used the same reference image and I did instant render and it got a bit more contrasty. And I like that it added this rim light in a bit more blue, cooler way. So I like this result. It is already impressive new feature, this instant render. But of course, why to stop there? I went to workbench. I wanted to test the modified feature like to remove the rear and the front lights of the car. It didn't do what I wanted, but rather than this, I wanted to get into studio again on one of these results and generated a 3D version of this. Here on the new interface, you can see make 3D section here. And we have some more options. It used to be very basic now. You can select the quality. There's standard one, detailed sharp, detailed smooth, supports multiple layers and the max state of the art quality. So when I saw that state of the art quality, I had to select this one. And there's also advanced options like quad topology, low poly, high detailed mesh. I didn't experiment with these ones. It's another topic for another video. But when I generated the 3D already with just side view, 
This is the result that I got. If you are new to Viscom, I'm a brand ambassador of this platform, by the way. It is built by designers for designers. So they still want us to stay as creative designers. That's one of the strong reasons that I like this platform. So generating this 3D model doesn't mean that the design process is ending. That's not the goal of Viscom at the moment. It's supporting you for the design process. So this 3D model is looking very good, by the way. You can see it without the shading also, just to see the forms and the volumes, or with the shading coming from the render. But my point is, it's way better than before. It is a great tool. You can also generate different objects for your 3D scenes. So you can still go to Blender by exporting it by three dots here, export GLB, OBJ, STL, or USDZ. I exported the OBJ and the GLB, and on Blender, you can just import them naturally. So this one on the left is the OBJ, this one is the GLB. The difference basically is we have the textures on the GLB version. But I was saying that this is not for having the final design and done. From sketch to 3D, there are other tricks to make it more realistic, first of all, like the cabin here and the wheels, because in 2D, it's nice to exaggerate the proportions to catch the emotions of the sketch, to find your design theme and be more artistic on the creative moment. But when we jump into 3D normally on Blender, you would adjust some proportions like the cabin area. This is way too small. The wheels are way too big. And I'm not even sure about the dimensions. Overall proportions look good, but there would be some adjustments before refining the design. And here also the topology, if I go to edit mode, as you see, it's a mess at the moment. So it is not directly useful as a final product, but it's a great quality for using it as a base. Like these volumes here, you can read it very well. You can sketch over. You can build the 3D on top of this. And by the way, if you are not confident with Blender, I have my Blender for beginners and Blender for advanced car design courses. You can see the details on my website. And again, until end of November, there is Black Friday. So if you want to get better on Blender or if you want to start from zero, please take advantage of this Black Friday discounts. So this way you can build your own 3D model on top of this. There's a lot more stuff that you can experiment with Viscom. Like now you can rotate the model from different angles, re-render on top of it, and then sketch over the renders to develop your design further. You can go back to Photoshop, Blender. You know, the design process is way bigger than this. There's a lot more things you need to consider for making a proper design project. I want to mention this because I see sometimes people are a bit worried that if AI is coming to this level already, what will happen in future? It's a tool. Depends on how you use, you can take great benefit out of it, but it is there to support your process, not to replace you. At least with Viscom, I can say this confidently. I'm sure you have some questions, so write them down below on the comments, and I can do more videos around this topic, around new updates, and see you in the next video.